The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to use vectors, specifically Vector2, Vector3, and Vector4 within a custom Unity editor window. To start within a folder called Editor, create a new c -sharp script. I called mine Vectors. Open it up. Delete everything in the class. Add a using at the top for Unity Editor. And then change mono behavior to Editor Window. Show the window via public, static, void. I'll call the class show window, or the function show window. And then vectors, the class name, w for window equals vectors, get window, type of vectors. I set the min size. This actually is the demonstration of how to use a vector too, so I'll set up a summary here. We're going to use a vector two to set the min size of the editor window screen. We'll set that to 300 pixels wide by 150 pixels in height, and then set the max size to be the same values. So that's what a vector two is. I'll write in used to set width slash height or you can actually note a position on a 2D coordinate plane. So an X, Y, a Y, Z, or an X, Z. I'm going to add a menu item at the top so we can actually see the window. So I'll navigate to it via window slash vectors. Go over to Unity, go Window, Vectors, and there's our empty window. Create a function called private void on GUI. Next thing to demonstrate is a vector three. And that's going to be done via creating a spawn position to spawn in an object in a specific point in 3D space. So we'll set up vector three spawn position equals new vector three and give it three values, five, 10, and three for the X, Y, and Z. And that's where the spawn position will be. Then say if GUI layout dot button. So if this button is clicked, give the button a title of spawn cube that's where we're going to spawn game object obj equals game object instantiate then use resources dot load and that's why within unity there's a folder resources and then I already have a cube set up within that folder so I'll just type in cube which is the name of that object and then we'll give it the spawn position and quaternion dot identity So we can save that, go back to Unity, we'll press Spawn Cube, focus on the cube. You'll see that it spawned at the position of 5, 10, 3 for X, Y, and Z. And that's what we wrote in the code. So that's a vector 3. The last one to demonstrate is a vector 4. And that'll be done via, actually I need to define a vector three, so that's used to denote a position within a 3D space. And then a vector four, to demonstrate that, I'll set up, or use to represent a rotation value for this example. And it will be converted from a quaternion to a vector four. So to do that, say if selection dot active transform, meaning that if the selection has an active transform, then we'll set up a variable up top. Call it it'll be vector four. We'll just call it rot for rotation. And then rot equals editor GUI layout 
dot vector four field. Say vector four values for the label. And then ROT. I'm going to say ROT equals, we actually need to set up the converter from quaternion to vector four. So we'll say, we'll call the function to vector four and give it a quaternion, call it Q, then say return new vector four Q dot X, Q dot Y, Q dot Z, and Q dot W for the four values. Now we can go back up to the if statement, set rot rot equal to two vector four selection dot active transform dot rotation. Now when I save that, go back over to Unity. We've already selected the cube, so you can see that the rotation values currently are 0001. But if I rotate it horizontally and vertically, you'll see those values update. And that's it.